everyone. We are Random Work from Hana Academy Seoul. I am Hyung Joon. I'm Jiwon. I'm Jiwon. Today we are going to introduce the world's biggest and the longest popsicle stick bridge ever made. Hi again, we're Taeyong, Hyungjun, and Jiwon. Thank you for taking interest in our bridge. In this video, we'll show you how we made it from A to Z. To briefly introduce our bridge for those who didn't watch the previous video, we are students of Hana Academy Seoul, and Hutch Bridge was our project for 2013's physics experiment course. The goal of this project was to build the biggest, most beautiful bridge based on popsicle sticks and glue. The main idea behind this criterion was that a bridge must be physically sturdy for it to be beautiful. In this video, we will introduce the design, construction, and destruction of our bridge. Our bridge was designed after New York's Hellgate Bridge. Hellgate Bridge is a steel railway bridge that was known to be the longest bridge in the world during 1916 to 1931. You might think you've seen this bridge before. Perhaps you have, or maybe you're just confusing it with the Sydney Harbour Bridge, which was also built after this design. The Hellgate Bridge is a type of a through arch bridge where the deck passes through the arch. The force upon the deck is distributed via vertical suspension cables onto the arches above. Because plane tickets were too expensive for us to go on a field trip in advance, we instead observed a 3D model of Hellgate Bridge that was available upon search in Google. We would like to thank whoever made and posted this on the internet through this video. And ta-da! This was our first blueprint! We first planned to make Hutch Bridge about 1.7 meters high and 6.6 .6 meters long. In total, it took about a month from August to September for us to complete our design. We especially paid close attention to the arches. We considered two things. One, what curve shall we use for the arches? And two, what truss shall we apply? First of all, an arch is a structure that spans a space and supports structure and weight below it. We thought there would be a mathematical formula for an arch, but with a bit of googling, we soon found out that any curve that suits this definition can be called an arch. We decided to use a parabolic arch for, according to Wikipedia, an arch that has weight that is uniformly applied will follow a parabolic profile. Second, to decide what kind of truss we shall use, we used a free truss analysis program to test the distribution of force of various kinds of trusses. The, the results show that type A is the most well distributed and that type B is fine also. Considering the harmony of the design, we decided to use type A to build individual arches and type B to connect the top arch with the bottom arch. By now we figured out that though architecture is based on physics, it is much more practical and does not require the high precision of, of physics. This is the final design of Hudge Bridge, which is 6.4 meters long and 2.1 meters high, which was redrawn after its completion. Now comes the fun part, construction! Yay! Hi, I'm Jaehyung. Before starting construction, we conducted some simple experiments to decide what type of glue we shall use and how we shall connect the popsicle sticks. As a result, we found out hot glue is much more flexible, thus more endurable, and that the strength of the double layer method is similar to the strength of the single layer method, thus much more efficient in terms of saving popsicle sticks and glue sticks. So we agreed to mainly use the double layer method with glue guns. First, we made the arches. To make a parallel arch, we decided to flip the arch that is formed in suspension bridges. So we attached only the ends of a piece of thread on the wall according to our design and glued popsicle sticks following the shape of the thread. Then we made each arch into a 3D structure. In this process, we even invented the toilet paper method, where we used toilet paper rolls to keep the distance between the two arches constant. After creating the deck piers, piers connecting them all together, and adding the cables, the hutch bridge was completed. A little more than a month was used to finish construction from November 8 to December 13. 
It was time consuming and we had sacrificed many of our lunches, dinners, snack time, and sometimes even yaja. Time we are supposed to be in the study halls, but it was worth it. After completion, we installed lights and invited the school to take photos in front of it if they like to. And even displayed it right outside dormitories. And this is the hot bridge at night. Wow. And this is us. At last, we were finally destroying our own bridge. It was a sad moment for all of us to see our lovely bridge falling down. We, have, we are actually never going to see such an amazing masterpiece in our whole life anyways. But we had to cope with it. So we had nowhere to put it. Or nobody actually wanted to make it stay in the school. And also, this destruction was taking place to test if the bridge was actually made physically fit. Which I mean by... We expected the bridge to be to would spread the force well, so that it would collapse not only from one side, but would collapse from all directions. Behind the bridge, there is Sohan, our lovely assistant, and he had been a great help for us. And thank you too, Jiwon, for bringing us such a great helper. Uh, uh, anyways, um, we had conducted this experiment with the dumbbells we which we brought from our school's gym. We placed this dumbbell one by one, on the deck of the bridge since we connected the deck and the upper part of the bridge. We did not expect it to be that strong, <laughs> so we only brought 1 kilo and 2 kilo dumbbells. And we knew that we had totally mistaken the fact that it was indeed very, very strong. On our first try, we had used all 22 kilos of dumbbells, so we decided to let the dumbbells down to test for the second time. So we decided to make the second try. And um, as you can see in this picture and this uh, animation, uh, we, we brought some bigger dumbbells that we can use to increase the weight that, that we can actually put on the deck. So, as you can see, the orange one, which I thought it was 10 kilos, was actually five kilograms, and the five, the blue one was two point five kilos, which I actually thought was five kilos, and that was one of my mistakes. Anyways, also, so we decided to put this these dumbbells on the middle of the deck so that they can s stay. And actually, uh, s since we decided that pu putting the dumbbells on the right position, I mean by the putting the same weight on the left and the right side so so we decided to put like uh, as you can see the picture we put some dumbbells on the blue dumbbells and actually as we were doing this uh, experiment this test we, we knew that making the first try was a totally bad idea the bridge had been weakened because of the former dumbbells that we actually put on the first try so in this moment we can see that when you put 22 kilos the, the deck was a little bit bent and as, as we put uh, two kilos more which means which we mean by 24 kilos it started to crack and actually it was not a very dangerous weight on the first try we, we thought that it was all because of our dumbbells that actually damaged the bridge when we actually p put the dumbbells on <laughs> as, as we can see right now right there we had some problems and we, we thought it would, this experiment is not a perfect experiment that uh, the actual bridge can can stay and then in, in the picture right now is 26 kilos and as you can see it's not very stable and and from then on, we decided to put 1.5 kilo dumbbells one by one to actually calculate when it would actually collapse. And right there on the left side, that's Mei, Hyungjun, and on the right side, this Jaehyung. Then where's Sohan? Ah, maybe he's right next to Jiwon who's actually taking the picture, taking the, taking the animation. 
and and from now on actually we we do not know if our oh work was good because it actually collapsed a little bit and I I tried to put the dumbbells on right there and uh, as you can expect it it began to collapse and it collapsed yeah and there it goes this all happened because of the first try but we actually knew the fact that when we put 34 kilos on the on the deck it uh, totally collapsed uh, maybe, maybe it can stay for 32 kilos or more and this means that the deck is actually uh, quite stable than we, expect, than we expected but the problem is that it actually broke from the right side of the bridge uh, if if the bridge was made physically fit it would have bro broken from left and the right side but it didn't happen like that so we knew that the actual bridge was made <laughs> not that perfectly so it was, our actual our actual experiment was a little bit bad, but we actually um, can say that it was not a bad result, and we we're actually proud of ourselves for making this tour, this huge bridge, and yeah, that's it. Thank you. The bridge first broke down when 34 kilos were placed on it. The end soon crumbled soon after. A well-built bridge is supposed to crumble evenly, but in our case, a part of the right-hand side of the arch was heavily damaged before the other parts of the bridge. We can tell that the red yarn, which we mean by the cables, actually did a good job in, disturbing, in distributing the force on the deck to the arch. We suspected this early breaking of the right arch is due to the previous damage during the month of display and the first try that we actually shouldn't have done. Perhaps the hood bridge may have withheld more weight if it had experimented right after the construction and without doing the first try that we actually failed. Never say